some of the most sought after diecast cars on the market consist of models that collectors can relate to. Whether it is a model of a car they own, their favorite race car driver, or one of a kind build that they always dreamed of being able to drive. Because of this, collectors turn to the world of scaled models to satisfy their wants. What's up guys, my name is Jared with the Collect Car Network and I wanna welcome you back to a brand new episode of Collectible Corner, where in today's episode, we'll be taking a look at a model that you may or may not be familiar with. First off, I wanna give a huge shout out to our partner over at RDDC Collectibles for providing us with a look at the model featured in today's video. RDDC Market is my personal go-to for an extensive inventory of diecast cars, trucks, and dioramas with over 1,500 items in stock, including the one we'll be looking at in today's episode. The model that we have for today's video isn't just a fantastic diecast model, but the actual car holds a lot of meaning in the automotive world and the purpose for which it was built. In 2022, racing legend Ken Block put together a partnership between BBI Autosport, Hoonigan Racing Division, and Mobile One. The goal of this partnership? To create the fastest car for one of the most famous automotive events of the year, the 100th running of the Pikes Peak Hill Climb. Because of the significance of the 2022 event, Ken Block wanted to do something unique, something that had never been done before. What came from this partnership was an all-wheel drive, twin-turbo, mid-engine Porsche 911 producing 1,400 horsepower. It was truly a one-of-a-kind build. The design of the car was created by Trouble Andrew and inspired by the 1971 Porsche 917-20 Pink Pig race car. When the time rolled around for the 2022 hill climb event, the nickname Huna Pigasus was the car to watch. Unfortunately, due to an engine failure during testing, the team was forced to miss qualifying and Ken Block was unable to compete in the event. On January 2nd, 2023, Ken Block sadly passed away at the age of 55 in a snowmobile accident. The sudden loss of Ken hit the automotive world hard and an outpour of support and love was seen across social media. When the 101st Pike Peak Hill Climb came around in June of 2023, something happened that people truly did not expect. To honor her late father, Leah Block ran an untimed exhibition lap in her father's last race car, the 1400 horsepower Huna Pegasus. The bittersweet story revolving around the Huna Pegasus is one that I felt was worth sharing and just adds a little bit more significance to the development of the model car. From front to back, the team over at TPC did a phenomenal job at recreating a car that holds so much meaning in the automotive scene. In my opinion, this model is amazing with fantastic detail and craftsmanship. The aero kit, spoiler, and exhaust are seemingly perfect and being one of 499 produced just adds to the wow factor of this model. I personally cannot think of anything that I would change about this model. I was extremely impressed with the last model we had from TPC and think that they do an excellent job when it comes to making premium diecast cars. If you've seen our past video on the Hoonicorn that we gave away, I honestly loved every aspect of that model and figured it was probably my favorite Ken Block creation. But after learning more of the history behind the Hoon Pegasus, I now understand why it is such a significant vehicle in the legacy of Ken Block and have a much greater appreciation for it. I want to give another huge thank you to our partners over at RDDC Collectibles for allowing us to take a look at this Porsche in today's video. If you yourself want to get one of these Porsches for yourself, be sure to head on over to rddcmarket.com and use code CLASSICCARS20 to get 20% off your purchase. And remember, there's only 499 of these produced, so act fast. As always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this week's episode of Collectible Corner. As always, be sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on future videos just like this one.